Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. My yarn adventure update for the week that was. Um, unfortunately, I hit some sort of bump along the way. I don't know if it was a knit bump, a pearl bump, half double crochet bump, but I lost my mojo. It was supposed to be a finishing week and I literally didn't really finish much at all. However, I do have some things to show you. I have an acquisition. I got some happy mail and a couple of finished objects because I am still concentrating on getting ready for this Sunday's market stall to fundraise for Emma. So I'll start with my um, happy mail. I got some happy mail from a subscriber Karen and in here she sent me some yarn to try to match the colour that um, Sue sent me. So this should, they should go together well. This is the um, Shepsky's Colour Crafter. I would really like to try that. That's my dog. And I did open this when it arrived because I was so excited. Now in here is a lovely card. And thank you, Karen. You didn't have to do this. I had a look at them. Um, what she has done is she I'll take one out. She has made four spa sets, and in her spa sets are some makeup pads, a little face washer, and a soap bag. And I can bag these up and sell them on the craft stall for my little friend Emma. And she also put in her business cards, which is great because I can put her business cards in with each one and um, promote her business. So there's the blue one, and I'm just I'm trying to doing trying to work out with thing what the best way to make them bag up. I do have a friend who makes soap, and if I can get in touch with her, I might get some little soaps as well to put in with them. But there are four sets: one, two, three, four. Yeah, yellow, pink, a beige coloured set. Maybe there's two there. Two, three, four five six maybe there's six sets which is awesome so that is Karen she has an Etsy shop sorry about the rattling um, called building blessings her business cards are in there she also sent me a her first attempt at a crochet tea towel topper I am so busy making so many of these and one more is appreciated that I don't have to make it is perfect Karen it's really lovely so that's something else I can put on the market stall. So thank you for going to all that effort and sending me the stuff to send on the stall. You really didn't have to, guys. You don't have to send me anything. Um, just your support on the channel by subscribing and liking the videos is a big thing. And watching the videos, that is awesome. So yes, and the funny thing is, the day she posted this, I actually posted a little parcel to her. <laughs> so we are yarn swapping in different ways. Um, and I love the idea of pu putting her business cards in there to promote her Etsy shop. Now, all the links to the tutorials and just um, patterns or anything I talk about will be in the description below if you're interested and want to check them out. If you could check um, Karen's Etsy shop out, like her shop, like some of her items. It does help with the um, analytics of Etsy and promotes her shop. So, on to my acquisition. Like, I'm not buying yarn. Well, there is a particular wearable that I've had my eye on. It's a paid for pattern. I haven't bought the pattern yet. And I've been thinking and thinking, and um, Bendigo Woolen Mills had a sale on cotton yarn. And I bought some eight ply cotton. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, might need my glasses for this. So there's, they're really good value for money 100% cotton, 485 meters in a ball. This is called Grey Whisk which is like a grey purpley colour. I bought um, cotton violet. It needed three colours. And I bought two of these, but only one's arrived. But they did notify me the second one was on its way. 
and this is glacier so it will actually look like those three together and they are normally about 15 16 dollars a ball and they were down to 13 from bendigo so yes i thought it was a good buy the other thing that bendigo woolen mills are doing our holiday to victoria we went to bendigo ballarat wangaratta all that area has had massive flooding and they are, there is a flood relief campaign for that area. And Bendigo, during the month of November, when you make a purchase, they are donating a percentage of the sales to the flood relief victims in that area. So, yeah, if you're thinking about buying yarn, why not try Bendigo Warren Mills and have a look, check out what they've got and support them during November so they can donate money to the flood relief campaign. So that was my acquisitions. Now I have been making stuff for the markets, of course. More tea towels. These are my like top of the range ones, the most expensive, because they're very good quality tea towels. That's one of them. And then I've made some little, these are really popular. I don't know why these little shorty ones are. This is a Christmas one with Santa on. Um, Emma loves Santa and reindeer. So yeah. I got that. Oh, I do have one other acquisition. And what have I done with my glasses now? Because I'll have to read it. I'm not sure I can without glasses. So we have this little shop called, um, well, it's not that little, in one of the malls in town called Daisio, which is Japanese orientated. And if it's not marked, it's $3.10. But if it's more than that, it has a price marked on it. And I was in there looking for something else that I didn't find. But I actually saw this. And for those who've been subscribed for a while, you know I love polar bears. So I don't understand the translation to English. But this is what I found. I found this little tote bag with this polar bear in a glass. And it says, the mood you want to swim leisurely today, don't you? relaxing polar bear I'm not quite sure but sometimes things don't translate to English but yeah I got this little bag because he had a polar bear on it another acquisition so the speed bump was finishing objects I went to finish this big knitting project I haven't finished it yet but I am disappointed I'm marking it as a fail I will finish it and share it with you and show you why I think it's a fail but yes, someone, someone made the comment, have you lost the will to live yet? Just about when I was this, making, finishing this. So I never really got to finish it very much at all. I know Thing was trying to motivate me to craft because I wasn't doing any crafting. And he asked for a, um, a, like a scrubby pad for his shed. I made him one a couple of years ago out of this really old yarn. And he said, it's really been used a lot and it could use a new one so I did so the yarn in this project is 42 years old it was a cot blanket made by my sister for my son it was in Peyton's crafty it was not soft and I um, a couple of years back unraveled it all she had crochet the only thing she's ever crocheted and I'd been using up the yarn so there's a little bit left and I made him his scrubby pad. So sorry about my dog. He's barking at the kids next door. The yellow yarn is the 42 year old yarn. And this is, and it mixed in with it is that um, sparkly scrubby stuff from Red Heart in orange because he wanted it quite coarse and rough. Now, this is a bag a day tutorial. I use it for face washes. It's one of my favorites. It is the cobblestone tutorial, except I've changed it a bit. I put two rows between the stones. But that is Thing's scrubby pad for his shed. And he said, you better make a video. I want my scrubby pad. So there you have it. It is quite, it will do a bit of scrubbing and cleaning. And yes, 42 year old yarn. The last of it about to be used up. I'm a bit sad actually so that was something else um during my lunch i tried to be motivated and make a few things so yes i made some scrunchies 
made that one to match the poncho I made that one um, was going to match Emma's little dress that I thought she might wear for Christmas but apparently she's changed her mind she wants a different one so yeah I've been making scrunchies they're always a good seller at the markets like I do them I think I've shown them before I might show them next video I get a toilet roll cylinder and I stack three up I might put some candy cane in the middle and gift wrap it and it's like a little set a stocking filler set for a little girl so they're my scrunchies I did finish an octo he didn't get finished because I learned a valuable lesson he lost an eye now thing puts the backs of the eyes on for me and I have never had one fall out before but this one fell out and he was all sewn up and almost ready to go so I had to give him an eye patch like a pirate. So this is Octo Pirate with his little bit of hair. But yeah, but I have learned a lesson. So this is the um, dabbling hook Octos that I've been making for the store. Now Karen had made a comment about um, a tutorial that I might like to try. And I have. And oh, this has got me motivated again. I really love this tutorial. It is Mini Monsters by Chronically Crocheting Crystal. Now, I can whip most of this up in my lunch hour. What I do is I have it almost finished, come home and stuff it, and he's finished. Now, she made a joke in the tutorial that one of them with a crooked mouth, her husband had called Dow Jones. And part of my job is looking at the um, ASX, the Australian Stock Exchange, and checking our own investments and what have you. So I decided I would have a go and I've made NASDAQ, another stock exchange market. So that's him there, three-eyed NASDAQ with his little legs. Aren't these cute? That's what I've been shopping for. I've left the long thread. I've been looking for key rings that I can attach them to to make them bag buddies, but I haven't found any yet. But I'm sure I will before Sunday. So there you go. That's NASDAQ. Then the next day I had to make another one, but he's one-eyed. He's FTSE 100. <laughs> there you go. FTSE 100. Another one. There's a few out there. <laughs> Reeves Thing and I were laughing at all the names I could use for stock exchange for these little monsters. But this is an awesome tutorial. It is a lot of fun. She's a lovely lady. It's really easy to follow. Mine aren't even stuffed with fiber fill. It is such tight crochet that I have stuffed them with the ends that I have cut off things because I have about three bags full of it and I'm using those up. And the thing is, you can use four weight yarn, four weight yarn, four weight yarn. And it doesn't matter. That's a, um, a premier yarn and that's a um, Malaga or Malaga yarn from Hobie. And they turn out different sizes. Same number of stitches, it's just the yarn. So if you've got little bits of yarn like I do that are just too nice a yarn to throw away, like my Premier yarn, make yourself a little mini monster and a backpack buddy for Christmas for your little friends because they are so cute. You can do them with normal faces, but I really like the idea when she said, oh, I hope you call this one Dow Jones because he's got a crooked red mouth. Well, it kick-started my mojo that I had lost along the way because of this knitting project. I am not going to give up on knitting something wearable that's beautiful. I have just, obviously I thought I was bigger than I was, but when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Guys, that's it for me for this week. I am sorry I am late. I was late for this very important date. <laughs> my yarn adventure update but as you can see I'm happy I'm doing stuff it's mainly focusing on the market so I'm just making lots of little things and finishing off some big things that I hope to sell all we have to do now is keep our fingers crossed the weather holes because we've had a heat wave and usually that's followed by rain and knowing my luck it will rain on Sunday keep the fingers crossed the rain stays away till Monday until next time, stay safe, stay well, 
And don't forget, you can make yourself a little mini monster. Make sure you check out Crystal's tutorial. It is awesome. Bye for now.